It is the last Raider. We are back today, and who boy. Uh, we have, do we have something today? Um, so I saw this, I believe, on Bleeding Fool or Bounding Into Comics. I'm not sure. I believe it was Bounding Into Comics. And I went straight to the source because this one paragraph right here is part of the reason of why things don't improve as to why SJWs, when they get into something, they never go further in it. And it has to do with Batwoman. You know, if, if you know anything about Batwoman right now, the ratings are tanking. They went from 1.8 million views, which was actually low compared to other CW shows when they debuted, to now 1.24 in the second episode, and I believe they're going even lower in the third. Uh, I haven't seen the show yet. I'm not going to pass any judgment on it, but from what I've heard, it it uh, there's a scene where they vilify the military. There's a scene where they... Um, all the bad guys are usually white males, except for maybe the Jokerish character. And then uh, <clears throat> I can't remember who it was that reviewed it, but they said there was actually parts in there in the third episode where Ruby Rose had an opportunity to take the main villain down, which is apparently an Alice character, and she didn't do it. And someone she instead dares her to not kill someone. And twice, actually twice, she has the ability to stop this chick, but the woman still goes out and kills someone, meaning that she's now solely responsible for that one guy dying. So, I mean, she's not acting like a hero right now. But uh, what we're talking about today is we're talking about how the reaction is. You know, when something fails, uh, there's a difference between the way someone who's normal fails at something and someone who is regular or someone who's a snowflake or an SJW when they fail at it. And the difference is, <clears throat> in, is in how they take defeat. Uh, see, one of the things I did, I used, I, I do uh, bladesmithing every so often. And the hardest thing I had to come to grips with was having something that goes foobar. Okay. Uh, when you're, and I'm not talking like doing knife making where you just take a piece of steel and shape it into a knife. I went out and actually got an apprenticeship at one point or can still get my apprenticeship and um i got together and i worked with several master bladesmiths or at least two or three of them and learned how to you know make a knife from start to finish not nothing really fancy just something really basic because i wanted to learn the skill and uh the hardest thing i had to come to grips with was sometimes you can put a lot of work into something get it almost finished and mess it up and you have to do, you have to consider it a foobar and that means you know just shutting it down doesn't matter if the knife has been polished up if it's too thin if you end up polishing it and buffing it and it gets too thin it's probably because you did something stupid back then you turn around you drop it you grab a new one you pick it up and you go from there you've done everything you can to fix the problem you have to go back to square one and just you know start over with SJWs that's not the case if you want to if you don't believe me look at how many iterations of Captain Marvel there have been uh, in the comic book industry. She has gone through about five different runs in the span of just a f probably two or three years. This is because they go in, they push the same politics, they push the same stupidity, they make the character horrible, they do all this horrible stuff. They don't stick, stick to the tried and true method of making a hero. And when they fail, the reaction is not, I failed. The reaction is, you failed. Um, I've said this in a couple videos. I believe that the SJWs are like the Borg. You know, they go in, they assimilate a geek culture, and they make it bend to their will. <clears throat> it support the geek culture then supports whatever the SJWs want it to support. And the thing is, when that culture fails, if you've ever watched the Borg on Star Trek, they never. They have never stated, uh, to my knowledge, I've never seen the Borg ever admit that they failed. I could be wrong. But the Borg always assume that this is going to work out and it's going to be perfect. They never assume that they're wrong. And because of that, they get beaten. The difference is the Borg actually come up with different plans sometimes. They come up with different opportunities. But it's to achieve the same goal, which ultimately is what causes all their resistance in the first place. Um, 
there was always, my wife always asked me about the, when we were talking about the Borg, she said, why does the Borg just do diplomacy? I said, because the Borg don't know how to diplomate. They, they don't know how to human it very well. They don't know how to be diplomats. All they know is just go grab it and take it. They don't understand if they were diplomatic to an extent, they probably could get more of what they wanted with le with even far less resistance. SJWs are the same way. But anyway, back to this. You can see it right here. Uh, this guy, I'm not even sure who it was. I'm not going to talk about who it is. It's apparently from uh, Memphis. Uh, if you want to look at this, I will download it in the... I will put a link to it in the description. So be sure to check there for it. But what I'm going to concentrate is on this line right here. And as I said, Batwoman is failing. It's failing in viewership. In short, the people that are supposed to be watching it are not watching it. After the first episode, they stopped watching it. I think they did an encore presentation from the 1.8 million that watched it the first time. And there was only 1.1 million that watched it the second time around when they did the encore presentation. So you're seeing a massive, almost a million viewer drop right there. I mean, which is unprecedented. It's like a tank, it, a full-blown tank right at that point. But anyway, as, as we're checking this out here, this line here sort of sums it up. That's freaking out some people who review bombed Batwoman on Rotten Tomatoes in what appears to be a deliberate campaign. Really, it was a deliberate campaign uh, to bump up Joker. It was a deliberate campaign on Captain Marvel. It was a deliberate campaign on The Last Jedi. Um... Pick an SJW thing or something that they like or something that they don't like. There's someone out there actively working against them. They believe in, they believe these 616s are out there working against them. Reality, no. It's just that we're actually, there's a lot more of us out there than there are you. And when people realize that this stuff doesn't work well with their culture and their thinking, they don't assimilate to it. They don't buy into it. And the thing is, the culture is shifting, in my opinion. <clears throat> there's a shift happening in the culture where people are now getting red pilled like crazy and enough people have become red pilled that they're realizing, you know, all these people that are making these movies, they're not very good at it. They're not very good at, at making this stuff in Hollywood. They're not very good at running these movies. You look at um, <clears throat> Iron Man back in the day and look at the third Iron Man who ultimately beats the bad guy at the very end. Tony Stark beats him by outthinking the enemy. At the very end, who be who beats him? It's Pepper Potts, who just kind of manhandles the main bad guy at the very end. The first part, Tony needed her to to set up the reactor for him while he holds off the bad guy. In the third one, Tony Stark is pretty cucked at the very end of it. <clears throat> she has to, and she even ends up grabbing the, uh, getting an Iron Man arm and using it to blast the dude and blow him up and whatnot. Uh, everything that Tony does, this guy just has no effect. It's the woman that comes in and saves him in the end. So if you look at the way that Hollywood is doing things nowadays, they've, they're slowly getting more extreme to this concept. But if you look here, as this guy says, he believes it's a deliberate campaign. It's not that when something fails, it's not their fault. It's not the director's fault. It's not the actress's fault. It's not the writer's fault. It is the fan's fault. And this is why things start... This is why you see fandom just suddenly drop out when SJWs get full control of it. <clears throat> Once they have control of something, they turn around just like The Last Jedi. Oh, these horrible man babies. You can see right here. Uh, it's pretty obvious given that last week the average of critics was 72%. Whereas the popular average... <clears throat> whereas the popular average where the campaign took place was less than 10%. Not subtle, guys. <clears throat> and I'm assuming it's all guys. Maybe the same guys who review bomb Captain America. Again, we cannot admit that we have messed up. We have to say that someone else is attacking it. Someone else is destroying it. It's someone else's fault. We can't fail because we're woke. And we're on the right side of history and, and we're not Nazis and it's all these horrible white males just, you know, shuffle the deck. All these, <clears throat> all these damn white guys and their shuffles deck reviewing <laughs> viewership <laughs> or, or majority. Um, <clears throat> the fact is a vast majority of people 
don't like this stuff. They don't like agenda being thrown down their throats. But SJWs do not have enough mentality to understand it. So I guess what I'm trying to say here is, if you're going to do something, remember that you at least be humble enough that you can fail at it. Okay? And don't blame other people for it happening. Uh, Clint Stoker is a good example. Clint Stoker, I believe, and he, he will tell you this in his videos, he actually did a campaign one time. I can't remember if it was Kickstarter on Indiegogo, the first one he did before he did uh, Downcast. And it failed. And he'll tell you, it was embarrassing. But he went back, he looked at what he did wrong, he corrected it, and now Downcast, he, he's going to get the book printed. Downcast is done. It's funded. It's fully funded. Um, there are a lot of people in the Indiegogo scene that have gone in, tried the system, failed at it, turned around, fix was going. On. I think with Clint, I think with Clint, his problem he said was he didn't have enough. He ended up making a YouTube channel and really pushing the YouTube channel and making an audience and getting that audience in there. And then he turned around and did the second campaign, and he had ready-made viewers who liked what he had done. He had a fan base. He had customers or potential customers. And that's what customers are. That's how you make money out of fandom and make it successful. It's another thing also because SJWs don't view money as success. They view politics as success. In other words, if you put lesbianism... So say, say you were to take um, Supergirl and make her a lesbian... That act in itself is a victory to an SJW. Whereas if you were to take Supergirl and do something different with a normie, and Supergirl ended up making more money than it had made previously, that would be a success for normal people. SJWs view things that are worthless as worthwhile actions. They don't understand the value of that money brings to the table because with money you can produce more you can try different things you can do even more stuff um <clears throat> but you know what uh tell me what you think do you think sjw's do you think that sjw's could learn are learning from their mistakes or are they just re doing the same the insane thing and repeating the same action over and over hoping for a different result um or are you like me? Do you think they could probably learn from it and then our society, our geek culture and everything else would actually advance a little bit more instead of going further and further behind as it is? Uh, tell me what you think in the comments. Always love those comments from you guys. I And I will... Uh, let me explain something. I will be responding to those comments, all right? I like hearing from you guys and hearing different methods. During different ways of thinking things. I also like to hear people who come in. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Uh, it helps me out and uh, helps me fight that algorithm a bit because I don't know if the, the algorithm is working against me or not yet. I know it's going to happen eventually because it. I'm not talking about the right stuff. Uh, from And from what I've seen from everyone else, you know, Myers, Ethan, and all of them, Eventually, the system is going to turn against me. <laughs> so be sure to, to like and subscribe. It helps out. Comment. Share the video also. Uh, as usual, I am the last Raider. Uh, stay frosty. Keep your head on a swivel. And I'll see you guys next time.